Eversol Furnace. Cans go in the top. Wood goes in the door. Ash comes out the bottom. It's got a metal grate in the middle where the wood is sitting on. And the ash falls through the grating. Air is being pumped in the side directly up through the bottom with a it's got a copper uh, pipe the spiral on it with where I drilled holes to focus the air all in the center the three bricks in the front come out you can pull them out and uh, put wood in it you can melt about 20 cans in 30 seconds I suppose when it's going really really well and that's Natalie my wife putting the cans in the furnace Took me about three days to build. It's really fun. Closer shot of the furnace. I took the brick out. Stoked the fire a little bit. I don't know how well the camera is going to show, but it's what it looks like in there. Probably just shows fire, I don't know. Throw the ash falls. Climb up on my truck. big pot it can hold like 40 pounds of aluminum. It's ridiculous. It's a square hole at the top with a circle in it so I had to cover the outsides with bricks so more fire doesn't shoot out and it stays contained in there. Blowing red. When we pull it out, you'll see. Now we're scooping out all the bad stuff, all the dross and paint and just crap. Goes into that little bucket. Not really a bucket, but it's like a tray out of like ten. Natalie's a professional. She's been doing this for 30 years. That's not really aluminum. I mean, there's some mixed in there. It's mostly paint. The liquid goodiness is inside. Maybe you can see it. it looks orange and fiery devil. Natalie, you got some back here at the back. 
Okay. Don't touch the shovel, I dropped it. Okay, don't touch the shovel. She dropped it. She's the chef of the fiery aluminum. Careful. All right, keep going with the cans, Wolf. You go away. I'm going away. She's, she's scooping the last bit of the paint and stuff out of there. And then here's what's going to happen. We're going to turn off the air. We're going to turn off the compressor. And I'm going to take one of those muffin trays down there. I don't know if y'all can see it. And I'm going to heat it up a little bit so it doesn't have any, make sure it doesn't have any water in it before I pour. I'm going to sit the pot on the back of the truck. And I'm going to grab it with some tongs and I'm going to pour it into the muffin trays. We're going to have a couple, or like probably about five ingots or whatever, just in muffin shape. There's probably around 400 cans in that. 400 cans, we'll see about what it makes. It was one whole trash bag, maybe a little less. Natalie's going to be doing the camera next, so you'll be able to see what it looks like while I'm pouring it. It's going to be kind of dark. She'll probably be holding a flashlight or something. Yep. Look at the pot. Look at me. Okay, so we're all done. We turned everything off. Don't shine the light in my face, please. And I'm going to pull the pot out. Move the bricks away so I can get to it. And it, the pot fits perfectly in the hole, so I have to like turn it to get it out because there's a piece protruding off the side. Sit it on top of this 25 pound pin so it doesn't burn my truck. This part's really heavy. I'm going to get a better pouring mechanism, but this works for now.